Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Mad Tea Party. We hope you're ready to spill the tea. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you're new to our channel, my name is Derek. My name is Ryan. And today we've got a box lunch money haul. Yes, we do. If you don't know what box lunch money is, where have you been? Yeah. Um, basically, a couple times a year, we get 50% off of stuff from box lunch and Hot Topic yeah. at different times of the year. And so all the money that we spend there ends up paying off because we get lots of coupons to go and spend more money. Right? <laughs> like that's the way it all works. So why not? Um, but we cashed in our box lunch money and we have a little bit of a haul to show you. And we're going to start with some shirts. And I will go first because mine is the only non-Disney item that we got from okay. box lunch. I've been looking at this shirt forever and you have... If you've been watching, you know that we do have a little bit of love for Sanrio inside of both of our hearts. And um, my favorite from back in high school had a shirt. That's Maru, my guy. Look at just how much she doesn't care, but also how adorable this is. And with the cool lighting, it is kind of harder to tell how purple this shirt really is but it is gorgeous and the back is just a simple um a simple white but you get the two different purples on the sleeves this definitely looks more blue in the camera but you can catch that purple in there but it is like straight up purple yeah i love it very purple it's i really like the colorway these shirts i have the my melody version. yes um, and they, they're really cute. There's a neon one too that I really like and whatnot. I don't remember what character's on it, but I love it. Yeah, I wanted it the Karopi one too, but I've been wearing more purple. Yeah. And so I want purple. All right, so um, I have been eyeing this shirt for a while. I actually really like this style of shirt and have some others and tend to gravitate toward sport jersey style shirts, which is weird because I don't like sports. But anyways, um, here is a Miko's baseball jersey. So you will be catching me wearing this in Animal Kingdom within the next year. Um, it, it says Miko's on the front. The back. I love that every number is always the year that the movie came out. Yep. So 95. Honest, 95. A classic. Um, and then I love this patch on the sleeve. Here we have Pocahontas. It says follow your own path. On the top and the bottom and then she's there with the colors of the wrapped around her. I am sad because the one baseball jersey that i would have wanted sold out extremely quickly and then they there was a hercules one oh, and okay. then now all they have is the hades um well basketball been. jersey and i really wanted the hercules baseball jersey yeah i have the buzz lightyear one and there was a really cute and that one was on sale it was just so cute we had to buy it yeah i think the colors I think I are nice have it. i love the buzz light one. Oh, you do you do still have it because if you no, have... i think they still have it on box launch as well they do all right so next up we grabbed a couple of pins that are exclusive to box launch they are not blind box pins which we loose pins? To buy. loose pins what do you i what do you guys call them they're uh, open edition open pins edition? but that's what they call them in the park um but uh this first one uh is from their disney 100 set that has been released it is the Briar Rose. She is dancing there. Um, I just really liked this design. It's very simple. They had they have similar ones with each of the princesses or several of the princesses. Um, but it says Sleeping Beauty in the bottom. You've got the squirrel and the bunny. Oh, and the three fairies are in there. I did not actually catch that. They're whitewashed in there, but um, it's just I a will, beautiful pin. I'll say that I am not the biggest fan of all of the 100 pins. Um, 100th anniversary pins that are coming out and that one is gorgeous this next pin that i have is adorable and they at box lunch keep giving some love to sword in the stone and i'm not gonna hate on it especially when it is king arthur slash wart because most of it is merlin or mim here we are he is just reaching up there to pull that sword out of that stone will it actually work yes it will and the only other person I would ask for more pins of is Archimedes. That's who we're really missing here. Um, but I love this pin. I anything Sword in the Stone really gets me. Yeah, they have been releasing a lot of it. Um, and then this last loose pin that I've got to show you is our girl Alice. Um, this is another Disney 100 pin. Um, 100 Years of Wonder. I really actually love the colorway they chose for this pin. It's not stereotypical Alice and I'm really not sure where they pulled the colors from but I really like them 
it kind of reminds me of like a psychedelic color trip in yeah. a weird way like to like it feels alice without it feeling alice the red it feels so random to me and that's I don't know. yeah i love that about it i actually really like this red and i'm not a red person in general but this is also a 100 that i enjoy yeah i love this it's different too. than others i got two really good designs for two of my faves so and what would a box lunch haul be without buying a ton of blind box pins? Yeah, that's our favorite thing about box lunch. So we've got upcoming a couple of videos for you. So we're going to show you what is to come. And the first one, you've seen us open these before. We have the, what we have been calling the Chibi Villains set here. Um, we are initially set out just for two of them. And as we continued to open them, they got cuter and cuter. So we have four boxes to open today. And... Well, we're not, not today. today. But we bought them and they're here. So the next box we have here to show off is some blind box pins um, that I'm very excited to open up because I already purchased one of them that I really want from here. And we're not completing this set, but um, there are definitely a couple in here that I want. So we have cats and dogs here in raincoats. Um, I have already purchased a Georgette, so if we open her, she will go on the traders. Um, we want the cats, basically. I need yeah. Dinah. And I want Toulouse and Berlioz, so... And I would absolutely take Figaro. There is not a Toulouse, but you could get Oh, Figaro. sorry, I didn't even... I forgot that that was this set. Yeah. So yeah, I would like Berlioz, and I would like, um, Figaro. Yeah, so just give us the cats out of these. We have four to open in another video, so our odds are good because we only need three. My sweet orange Toulouse is not one of them, but that's okay. Neither is Murray. We'll let Georgette have the love this time. This next set is a really cool set, and I can't wait to open them. This is what I would say part of a Parks collection. Um, none of these pins... Actually, sorry, I shouldn't say that. One of these pins really fits our collection, but you'll see why it can't be just one. Yeah. You may have seen these already. These are the um, Ferris wheel carts is what I will go ahead and call them. I don't know what they are called online, but um, you see you've got triangles making up that Ferris wheel. And on the top, you've got one of the Dalmatians as a cart. You've also got Stitch with Scrump on there. You also have Alice, which is the one we of course want. Winnie the Pooh across the way, Pinocchio, and the other adorable kitty on there. We've got Marie. We do want to just complete the set because it's just an adorable set yeah. and would go with our parks collection. Yeah, and I don't need an addition yeah, to this because that would it, be weird. It kind of looks weird by itself. I like pizza slices. I wonder if they move or anything. I'm excited to get to these. So stay tuned because these are going to come soon. And the last set of blind boxes that we got is probably my most favorite of the whole haul. Oh. These reckon back to French fries for yeah. me. Yeah. Like truly, this is what we've been waiting for. But this is actually, I even think, more on brand for us because ah. we love sneakers. We have the princesses as sneakers here today. Yeah. Um, so we have up top Cinderella, Little Mermaid, and Belle, and then in the bottom, Aurora, Jasmine, and Snow White. Um, we have six to open. We do, and we've already purchased one because we wanted to make sure we had an extra Aurora. I was going to say, oh, we only got six. I'm going to need an extra Aurora. I forgot we bought it. And we have been waiting to, to open these. We got to see Pete and Allie at Two Tiny Wings open them. They looked amazing. And we actually had them in our house at that point, and I like wanted to run and open them. But we were calm and collected, and we're going to open them soon. So stay tuned. Yes. As always, thank you so much for watching today. If you happen to be curious about our other content, make sure to click on the subscribe button down below. We're off with your head. That way you don't miss when we open up those pants. Yeah, you don't want to miss that. And also, if you give us a thumbs up, we wouldn't hate it. Yeah, leave us a comment down below which of the things we showed off today in our haul was your favorite. Um, I think my favorite is actually the Miko baseball jersey. Um, and I am going to say that the Bats Mirror shirt was my favorite because most of the other stuff has not been opened yet. Fair. And the Arthur pin is cute, but of the things we actually have open, Bats Maru wins. Yeah, but I'm very excited to get into those sneaker pins, so stay tuned. We're actually going to open them and show them off later. So. Yeah!
us. Thank you all so much for watching, and we hope you all have a golden afternoon. Bye, y'all. Bye. See you later. If you don't care for tea, you could at least make polite conversation.